Okay, being a black folks, the reason I'm making this video, I found a real fast moving object in a 24 hour period below the sun, and it wasn't here, but the idea this is a fresh shot from our Navy. Hello to all branches of the U.S. military and Navy, thanks for the shots. Okay, first thing was, I haven't been to Beacon for a while, so I went in there, and then the idea that I looked at the Navy shots, and they weren't cutting nothing out, so what the hell are they cutting something out on Beacon for? Okay, so there's your Larry's stereo behind, and then it's basically today's shot. It is the 20th, and you always have my... Uh, central standard time and date down in the right hand corner of my screen okay so there you go and then we'll go up and because I got it at like and then you can see what we got there behind on one and they tell you what the shots are and there's a head one <clears throat> I'll go ahead and look at the map for and I think we're getting a little okay well anyway there's a planet down there to the left so no matter what we're gonna go check a video out Okay, check this out and get your snapshot ready because th this thing did that much movement in just, and this is what we're going to look at, and I'm not sure if that's what we're looking at from what's blacked out on, let's slide over here, and it, this is what I'm talking about there, what's what's being hid there. Now, no matter what, uh, the fastest thing I know about in space, and it's a rotation of a galaxy, and there probably is faster than that, but check this out. Well, actually, maybe that 300 times faster than the spinning of the sun, but check this out. I got some data on that data in a second, but this data, the pit pictures that you look at here. So check out the object that's not no satellite below the sun right there, and how the hell fast is that actually uh, hauling ass, and what the hell is it? And it is below, and more than likely, yes, first thing, everything, everybody calls comet or asteroid. Well, it's too goddamn big to be a, uh, an asteroid, so the idea that it's a comet, because it's, comet is a dying star, and that is huge. And uh, Now, don't get me wrong, it could be one of the normal remnants, or the idea that it's something in the supergiants, because we know the supergiants are there, and so forth and so on and such. So this is behind, so then that's a star that is out in front of. Now, don't get me wrong, is it part of the alignments? Uh, because basically what we saw was not the moon, and I even got a deal on that. I can back up and show you the idea that we know, and everybody made comments and to go, oh, that's not that flipping moon that came up in front of the sun over in Hawaii on the cloud cam, okay? On my one video that is night, being all black. Okay, so uh, that is an object that you cannot, I don't even have to use my pointer. You can't miss it. It's right below the sun there, and it is hella moving. It's not that one that we figured that it only does it in 28 days, rotation of the sun. Okay, because there is an object that has been seen that rotates around the sun in 28 days, okay, and it's not small. Now, I don't believe that that's it. So, this is astounding here. So, the idea you blow that up, okay, and send me some shots of that blown up. Uh, I don't have a snapshot right now, and I'm not really worried about snapshot because I just throw the videos out real fast to show what the heck's out there. So, that the idea that you can blow up the pictures, now you go to Beacon, and that's the shot on Beacon today, okay. On the 20th of April 2012. So you get that footage and you blow that up, and we'll all see what it is. And I can always go back to the footage too, unless they get rid of it. But and if they do, then you know it was down there and it moved that much in 24 hours. That's hauling ass. And uh, so more than actual factual. Uh, and then the idea that. If it keeps being that it's uh, one of our planets of the Milky Way galaxy, then the idea that, uh, well, they're traveling hella fast. We know Earth travels 60,000 plus miles an hour, 66,000 miles an hour, and we know possibly that we're rotating faster right now. And we spiral like a bullet through space, and also the sun does, and all. just about, we want to get down to, okay, what doesn't spiral through space? Because we know that the Earth spirals through space, and we know the sun spirals through space. So everything pretty much spir spirals through space in a circle, and our magneticisms are to our suns, and the idea that we are bullets flying through space. So uh, Titan, uh, there's some dramatic pictures from Titan, so we'll go take a look at the lake on Titan. So freeze frame that. Radial velocity of 798 kilomiles a second, okay, is that galaxy that's way the heck out there that... that uh, uh, you'll see if you go to some scientist things and stuff like that, they're wanting to leap all the way out there because they don't want you to pay attention to Titan because Titan is more than likely not this far away and it's um, by Saturn, which is a, it's a damn way out. But travel through space is very fast. 
and I think I have engineered and have a actually it's not a theory it'll factually work that we can travel a lot faster through space which is a vacuum and we can travel a lot faster through a vacuum and I think NASA knows it too and we're gonna get to a lot of places faster in the idea they're gonna watch these probes all the way the hell out in the middle of nowhere and be doing a bunch of stuff between here and there okay and they're not gonna tell you about it and this is basically this article here so they just, it's way the hell out so uh, up by the direction of the Big Dipper, ladies and gentlemen. Don't make them think that the idea that the Big Dipper is that damn far away because it's not that many, it's not 50 million light years away, okay? Uh, that is not the Big Dipper, okay? And not the constellations Ursa Major in the Great Bear either. It's out beyond that. In the constellation Ursa Major, yeah, it's in that area. It's not in that constellation. There's stars in that constellation that are closer than 50 million light years away, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, they're always trying to fake you out with distances and so forth and so on. So, uh, oh, see, and basically I didn't, this is kind of BS here because the idea that there's a bunch of stuff that's faking and flaking on uh, because the, when you see that picture that I was just at a second ago, you need to realize the factual actual of the idea that they always have artist renditions and that's what that picture is because the idea that we know that Vesta is hauling ass through space Okay, so uh, should be able to enlarge that. I have did before, and there. Oop. And what the goofy thing is is don't let them freak you out because that idea it kind of looks like a footprint. But anyway, so uh, for us religious people out there, you know, anyway, flakes and goofballs will go. Oh my God, God is walking on through space. Anyhow, but. Uh, there's a huge lake on Titan that they found. Now, this is Earth here. This is a lake on Earth, okay? And then that they don't want you to see it very long. It's quite new info because it could end up being BS. So uh, that's Lake Ontario, uh, and they call it Lacoste on Saturn's moon, ladies and gentlemen. Lacoste is what they're calling that lake, L-A-C-U-S. Lacoste, okay? So if you don't see that very good, it will blow that up real fast. In that article. And I'm sorry about the advertising. I should have got rid of that, but I'm just making video real fast. So anyway, they're starting to show more of Titan, okay? Because that's not a lake here on Earth. So at least it's not supposed to be. So that's a satellite shot there, okay? That's Ontario on Earth. And I fib to Kerasoft about snapshot. So there you go. There is that lake that is supposed to be on Titan. Imagine how much trouble NASA would get in if they ever showed us any fake pictures again. Uh, I think we all know that. So anyhow, uh, I got an excuse for them for no stars on the moon shots now. So trying to help NASA out a little bit. Not NASA, I'm trying to help the political out a little bit. So anyway, now you're spinning so hard you don't know where the hell you're at, people. So anyhow... Uh, Watch the last video before this one, and this is basically a lake that's supposed to be on Titan. Now, I've seen pictures of rocks on Titan, and we all know that the moon rocks are missing from NASA. So, where the hell's the moon rocks from NASA? And if you pay attention to the payloads that were on the all the space shuttles and stuff like that, and then you pay attention to the weight of the rocks that came off the moon, somebody's got their ass hanging it out. And they have put a new one up, the idea that basically they are calling it Ontario Lacoste after Lake Ontario here on Earth, and they're calling it Lake Ontario Lacoste, L-A-C-U-S. Lacoste. Now, my earlier video, Tiny Meatball, we'll see if this will play here real fast. Hopefully, I don't have to load, and if I do, I'll save some time, but we're going to take a look at the sky, nighttime, 13,000 plus feet, 13.7 or something, 13.4 over in Hawaii and the idea that you know it's up in space so the idea that when you show you that the idea that something blocks out the sun and the super giants and the stars and everything down there it's the meatball ladies and gentlemen okay here we go it loaded so just let it play and you got your time and your clock down there this is from the 19th and those dark light propagations are from space there's shadows of planets between here and whatever up in space and here you go And remember, it's just minutes that go by. So if you want to go ahead and freeze this, I've showed in the past that some of these are not planes. Some are planes, but you have to understand that planes 
lights don't shine that big. They do when they come to land, but the idea that most of those objects, if you freeze and do the play, I've already showed enough in the past in my videos that those lights, some of them could be satellites. Okay, I'm not saying that some of them are not satellites, but most satellites are up higher. So, and there's something brand new at 300 miles up. And that's as far as we go with that. So, in the future, uh, you got to West Coast wise, all the way to the West Coast, the whole North American continent. Uh, basically, West Coast, yes, earthquakes, uh, other things that can fly in the air in the future, not now. Uh, it's concerns, and the U.S. military will keep an eye on all that, and that's a good reason and excuse. Now, we had some interesting, there's some interesting stuff up to the left, uh, asteroid show to the left, upper left, so I'll play it back, and I meant upper left, I think everybody can understand upper left. Up here, there was some action in this quarter, quadrant, so let's hit play again on that, and then I wasn't even paying attention at the end, see if we got some sand. Now, basically, it. I have the map, and I'll show that real fast. I don't think I'll take up too much time here just playing through this again real fast. As a matter of fact, I can skip through it real fast, I guess. Because basically, I got it interesting around here somewhere and beyond. As a matter of fact, I can even scoot up to there, I think. So, watch this quadrant up here. We got some asteroid action, comets, something. And just can play through, and then you can see whatever you see at the end. And basically, we're getting alignments of planets, and then the idea that oh, I, I wasn't paying attention at the end. Because I was watching, and then they did have some blinking. So I'm wonder. Anyway, that's the sun and the supergiants. We know there, sun in the supergiants because it's massive. And then we'll have whatever come up. It should be the sun. So it's interesting what we had before on the 18th that I showed you. Okay, so let's look at a map. I didn't show you three, but I think I did. But anyway, the darkness here, ladies and gentlemen. Remember layers, layers, and layers. And if you notice that the idea that when I talk about layers, the idea, the factual. You look all over these shots all the time at Navy and everything, you'll see all these stars, right? Well, when we come down to these dark area like this here, you don't see much stars and stuff, okay? And you got all this stuff here. Because pretty much all this darkness over here matches up to be meatball, okay? And then some stuff in front of it, okay? Because that's darkness, okay? That's darkness because it blocks out in layers tons of stars, okay? Either that or down here, and then how many are there? Okay, because you know you've seen more stars on these shots than that. So interestingly, I just popped into here, and basically we uh, got the star chart, and basically you'll know that the idea, sun comes up in the east, so when on the 18th footage, then the sun came up in the east, and this is today's shot, but you'll know that the idea of the moon doesn't move that fast. So you had the alignment of Mars and... Venus looks big because it's close, and that might have been what this pilot seen and not Jupiter when he did the dive or whatever that was well known and on the, the media. Okay, and we know that's the moon and you got the sun. So, and the sun comes up in the east like everywhere else in the world. So, over in Hawaii, so when we saw that footage of... It's basically this one, Night Beano Black. You watch that video and you'll see what comes up in that cloud cam. Okay? So we know it wasn't the moon, and more than likely it was the alignment of the planets, and more than likely that possibly was what I figure, guessingly wise. Now it could have been a sun in the supergiants, and then you just got to remember and find out. And I guess I'll take a peek real fast. We'll see what time Venus came up on that video, and you can go back to look at the video at the time. And I think it was the 404, so it was the 400 hour early in the morning, so we'll take a look at Venus. So basically, I'm not even worried because I know it was one of the stars out of the supergiants that rose there on the 18th, okay? More than likely you know for sure because the idea that there is your rise times, okay? Because if you, even if you just do the time, and I didn't do it for Hawaii, but if you do the time difference, it wouldn't have been the 4 o'clock hour, so you pretty much know for factual that that had to been one of the supergiants, suns, stars. So, because that was the positioning on the 18th, and it wasn't Venus. So, 
Factual bleeds, truth. That was interesting. It's got to be one of the stars.